Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I will share with you some rustic Christmas decor. It is very easy and inexpensive. Thank you for um, understanding that I was not able to upload a video on Tuesday, but I am here now. For the first product, I'm going to be using these Jenga blocks. I already used them for my previous project, so it doesn't have to be brand new. And then I'm going to use my Rust-Oleum chalk paint in a linen white color, and I will uh, paint them on all sides. I wanted mine to be um, pure white, so I didn't want any distressing or um, any rustic looking, but this is totally um, personal preference. You can certainly um, distress them or use any other color you would like. So um, after everything was dried, I looked at all the sides to actually uh, find the size that is the smoothest. And I took my pencil and started freehanding some words. I actually found the font online that I really, really liked. I have no idea what is the font called. I just found it online and um, I started writing words. So uh, words that I write, write uh, were joy, Jesus, believe, hope, Mary, uh, Noel, and you can see them over here in just a second. So right now I'm uh, writing Jesus. And then after I write all of them with my pencil, I uh, took the uh, marker that has a very fine tip and then I went over all the words. I uh, made sure to highlight some of the lines to just make the font looks nicer. If you're recreating this, you can certainly use your cutting machine to cut out small letters You can or words, or you can um, stencil them. I like to freehand anytime I can, and I think it makes it uh, more personalized. Now, another thing is you can uh, put any words you like, anything you like on it. Um, this is what I chose. After all the words are done, I am taking this jute twine that came from the Dollar Tree, and um, I will take one of the blocks and then um, I will wrap uh, my jute twine on one side of this Jenga block two times. Then I'm going to tie it on the top. And then I am going to uh, do the same thing on the other side, leaving a kind of a hoop, maybe two inches. But this is also per personal preference, how long you want your ornament to be. And I did this to all of my... Um, letter ornaments and that's it this is very very easy project to do i think it's super super cute i've seen similar ones uh, online that um, have some beads added but i really like this one it kind of look like some kind of a i don't know almost like a present that you can carry around i don't know it really really uh, speaks to me i like how it looks on a uh, greenery. I don't have my Christmas tree up because as you know I just moved two days ago and as of now we are in our camper. Um, we're having camping adventure because our house is still being built but um, and my Christmas tree will be mini 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 this year so I just wanted to show you how it looks with some greenery. I really really like this and I honestly think something like this would be a perfect present um, to someone dear to you. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I'm Yelena. I absolutely love crafting. It is my passion. I love doing uh, inexpensive projects and I like to show you how I make them. If this is something that interests you, I hope you will um, look around my channel, watch some other videos and hope, hopefully you will stick around by subscribing to my channel if you're not already part of it. Also, don't forget to click on notification bell on that is very important so you get notified when I upload my new video. Also, don't forget to look for me on a social media on Pinterest, Instagram and Facebook. 
And now uh, project number two. For this, I'm taking this uh, sign that came from Dollar General. It was only a dollar, so I'm going to use the back side of it. Now, this sticker was very hard to peel off because it was on a cardboard and it kind of peeled off a piece of a cardboard, but I managed to do it. After that, I'm taking my Rust-Oleum chalk pen in a linen white color and I started um, heavily distressing this. And again, uh, something like this is very... Uh, personal preference you can certainly use any color you want this is what I chose to do so I made sure everything is kind of covered but I wanted it to look a little bit distressed and rustic after everything was completely painted and dried I took this uh, wired burlap ribbon that I believe that came from the Dollar Tree and I cut out three pieces now I made sure that all three pieces are um, Different sizes, actually two uh, from the outside are the same size, and then the one in the middle is a little bit smaller. After I cut them out to size, I decided to fray the edges. So I made sure to pull out um, just enough that I thought it looks good, maybe like half an inch on all sides. Next, I'm taking the hot glue gun and I am hot gluing it to the board. But since this is a wired ribbon, I decided to put the hot glue only uh, down that wire part. I didn't want it to go through the middle because it will show through that burlap. Now I'm taking these three uh, craft papers that I got from Hobby Lobby. They're usually four for a dollar. I absolutely love them. And I am going to take this lid and I will draw or actually trace the circle. After that, I will on one part of the circle, I will kind of uh, create a raised part and I will cut all that out. And as you can already uh, tell, this will be, this will uh, um, represent ornament. I did the same thing to um, two others, um, two other papers. And then after I was done cutting it all out, this is how they looked like. Now I'm going to position all of them in the middle of each ribbon. I will hot glue them with a glue gun. And then when I'm done with that, I am taking this uh, white jute twine that came from the Dollar Tree. And I already cut out three little uh, pieces and they all going to go in the middle like so. So that will represent the... A hanging part of the ornament and I used a hot glue gun just a little bit of hot glue to attach them to my burlap after I attached all three of them now I will take the same ribbon and I will create a very very simple bow I usually make these type of bows that are super simple it is the type of bow that you um, make when you tie your shoelaces so um, three of those mini ones will go in the middle of the top of the ornament actually like i'm showing you over here so i hot glue all three of them in each one in each ornament now i wanted to add some greenery to this project so i took this piece of a um, garland that came from the dollar tree and i kind of um, curved it a little bit and hot glued it to the top of my um, sign and then i took two mini pine cones and then i hot glued them on the top like so and after that i took my paintbrush that i used earlier with a little bit of white paint and I went over that garland and the pine cones. And that actually completed this project. I really think this is super, super cute, very rustic. And I really like a little pop of color that these ornaments give. I like that this type of project anyone can do. It is very easy. And also you can add any colors that you like any colors of the ornaments, ribbons, anything that you want to make it your own and fit your decor.
I want to remind you that I have new videos every Tuesday and Friday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, so don't forget to tune in my channel at that time. Now, project number three and my last project for today. I had this sign in my stash for a long time. We used it for a while with kids, but after that we stopped using it and it is, it's a solid wood, so I really, really like it. I decided to um, go ahead and use my Rustoleum chalk paint in a linen white color. And um, I really like this baby blue color, so I didn't want to cover it completely. I made sure it didn't show through too much, but I really like a little bit of that blue to show through underneath. So you will see in just a minute after everything is painted and after everything is dried, how it looks like. And now I'm sorry, um, it got really dark over here, so I had to turn on the lights and it's not the same. So I apologize. So now I'm taking this mini wreath with a chalkboard underneath that came from Target Dollar Spot for a dollar and I'm hot gluing it on one side. Then I'm taking my pencil and I am kind of Ray Dunn font freehanding um, sleeps un until and then I am um, doing some cursive kind of writing, uh, writing uh, center visits on the bottom. And now I'm going to use um, my same marker that I used earlier with a fine tip for the top part of my sign. And then I'm going to use um, this Arteza um, fabric, uh, I mean um, paint marker in a red color. And then I decided to write Santa in red. And then the visits, I went back with the black one. Again, I accentuated some parts of the uh, letters because I wanted them um, to just pop out. And you can tell that my uh, words, my letters are not completely straight and I, I don't mind. This is something that um, will be in my home, mostly for my kids and I don't, they don't care about that. My kids already looked at it and, and they're saying, how many more nights, how many more nights until Santa comes? I think they really um, like it and it really doesn't matter if it's perfectly straight or not. But if that bothers you, you can certainly, like I said, use stencil or um, cut it out with your uh, cutting machine if you have it. Any other way you want to do it, it's up to you. Now I'm just using a little bit of this um, paint marker just to make it look old and enamel around the edges. So that's it for this third project, super cute and inexpensive. And if you like this product, please, or all of my products, this video, please give it a thumbs up. It means so much to me. It shows me that you like this video and it shows YouTube that you like it and it will promote it more. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you're new, I would love to have you. Thank you so much for being here and thank you for being so wonderful and understanding that I missed my last video. That is not going to happen again. I'm working really hard to get the videos out for you. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.